Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to check to see if you have any hard disk or hard drive errors in Windows 10. So while drive errors could be caused by a variety of issues ranging from software incompatibilities to bad sectors on your hard drive or potentially physical damage, this tutorial will show you how to run a scan to see if there's anything currently wrong with your hard drive. So we're going to start by heading over to our start menu and we're going to type into our search menu we're going to type in computer should be listed as a desktop app so you want to left click on that so you want to find your local disk or your local hard drive or whatever drive you're currently trying to scan for errors. In most cases it will be the C drive. So you want to right click on it and then left click on properties. On the tools tab at the top you want to left click on that and then left click on error checking. Please know you have to be an administrator or have administrative privileges in order to do this. So left click on check. So we'll receive a little pop up here saying you do not need to scan this drive. We have not found any errors on this drive. In any case, you can still left click on the scan drive option, which gives you a little helpful hint saying you can keep using this drive during the scan. If errors are found, you can decide if you want to fix them. Select this option. So just left click on it. So this error scan will begin. It will take a little bit of time depending on the size of your hard drive. It estimates about 30 seconds are going to remain on my end. And you can see the timer is going up a little bit back and forth. So I'm going to let this finish scanning and I will be right back. Hello everybody, I'm back. So the error checking utility finished scanning. I got a little notification our drive was successfully scanned. No errors were found. If we click on the show details button, it will give us a event viewer which will give you more information regarding the application scan. But in our case, there were no errors, so we can just close out of here. However, if you do get an alert saying that we, they found errors on your drive and it tells you to repair this drive now, just select the repair drive option. It will automatically begin to repair the drive for you. So hopefully that will work in that instance. So hopefully this tutorial helped you guys out, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.